Welcome aboard. I'm Captain Wayne Canning and I'm going to be your host in this video series about my favorite tools. After building and repairing boats for more than 40 years now, I found there are a few tools that are not so common that I found that I simply cannot live without. Now I know most guys like to talk about their tools and I'm no exception. So in this video series, I'm going to be showing you some of the tools that I consider indispensable. And I'm not talking about hammers and screwdrivers and drills and that kind of thing. I'm talking about the kind of tools that you normally would not think of. But the ones that I've found over the years are really, really handy to have on board. So let's take a quick look at what I feel like are my indispensable tools. One of my all-time favorite tools is this Makita angle drill. Now you might not think an angle drill would be all that useful right off of the bat. You'd think, well, I just need this to get into tight places. But I very rarely use this drill for actually drilling holes. I use it for a bunch of other stuff. Though. As you can see, in this configuration, I have it set up with a small grinding disc. And this is probably how I use it most often, for just doing small grinding jobs. Now this is great for grinding fiberglass as well as metal, wood, all kinds of things. The beauty of this is, if I'm making a small repair on the boat, and a lot of times your fiberglass repairs are just going to be small repairs, this is the ideal tool to use for that. It's variable speed with the bottom trigger, and because it's an angle, like an angle grinder, you have really good control over everything. And because it doesn't turn at high speed, it doesn't kick dust all over the place. So if you're doing a small grinding job for that small repair, either inside or outside of the boat, just grinding the area out slowly with this, it's more time consuming than a high speed side grinder, but you don't have the cleanup involved. The dust stays local. Also, this tool is handy for using for other things than just grinding. I have a small pad for a sander for doing localized polishing. And I can use a polishing disc as well. It works well as a drum sander. I can put cutoff wheels in here. There's all kinds of ways I can use this. The beauty of it is that you get better control over it. If you try to use a regular drill that's sticking up like that, when you go down to grind with it with the small disc, it wants to kick off to the side. Once again, I like the paddle on the bottom because it allows me to control the variable speed. I can operate it easily one-handed. These days, there's hardly any job that I work on that I don't take this tool out. I keep it set up with the little roll lock discs, and these are easily replaceable with the little roll lock on them. I use the 3M roll lock discs because I feel like these are the best. And even when I'm doing woodwork, I find that sometimes you just need to kind of shave something down a little bit to get that piece to fit in just right. This is the perfect tool for the job. I've had this particular Makita angle drill for better than 30 years now, and I have used the heck out of it. I have really, really put some hours on this thing, and it is still running well. <clears throat> there are other kinds of angle drills you can get. You can get a battery-operated angle drill. There's, you know, just stick to your favorite brand. I particularly like this Makita drill just because it's been a very good tool for me. So, I strongly recommend anybody who's working on a boat to consider purchasing an angle drill and a bunch of accessories to go with it. You're not going to be sorry you did. And I'm betting that you'll find many, many uses for it beyond just drilling a hole in that tight place. Which, by the way, it does very well. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the video helpful. Please consider helping me out by contributing either through my patron account, where you can pledge a little bit for every video I release, or a single donation to my PayPal account. Every little bit helps and will allow me to continue producing high quality videos that will help you maintain and repair your boat. Thanks again. I'm Captain Wayne. Till next time, I hope your screws are loose and your nuts are tight.